Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. So squirting is it's very controversial. It, I was topic. literally going to say that. I've been through a lot of stuff with squirting and people's feelings about it. Yeah. I think it's probably peeing most of the time because sometimes it's just too much. Right. Um, my, I, I kind of don't care. Right. My only thing is I don't like a surprise squirter because if you're going to squirt and thank God when I was shooting Adriana, we were shooting like on like a pleather couch. You were prepared. It was easy to clean mm -hmm. and there was no rug. But the worst is, is when a girl squirts on some kind of fabric porous surface sure. that I'm not going to be able to clean and I'm going to have to buy the location owner a new couch. Sure. And that has happened to me You've before. literally had to buy a new couch. No, I just uh, cleaned it the best I could. I put a fan on it, and I never told him. I mean, <laughs> as a as a as a lifestyle squirter, as someone who's been squirting long lifestyle before porn, oh God, that's, that's me. Like you're gonna write it down. I'm like, writing that down. <laughs> you need to get that. Should be like your brand that's, logo. Is that what I should make my corpse? Lifestyle <laughs> squirter. If that is not yeah. um, a website that is taken, I would highly recommend that you buy it. Right now. <laughs> Well, and it's, I thought of it cause it's like lifestyle dom, right? You know what I yeah. mean? Like this, cause someone who actually lives like that. Yeah. Um, cause so the thing is I, so the first time I scored it, I was 18 and I got into porn when I was 22. And so definitely long before, but, um, as someone who's been squirting for many, many years and all on all of my fabrics and surfaces, if it's true squirt or at least very, very hydrated pee, whatever it is, um, it does not leave a smell or a stain mm -hmm. in any way. Like mm -hmm. not even like a rim or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I've squirted on every couch and like thing that I've ever, <laughs> like every chair, every, I mean, just soaked my, like my car, like the seat of my car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, there's nothing left like right. afterward, like it literally, it's just water. So, or whatever it is. But, um, but I will say that it's really interesting because there's definitely a difference of like when it's just you're just jug chugging like gallons of water and then you're peeing versus like when I'm like at home and I haven't had sex for like a week and I'm fucking like the person I love to fuck and then I squirt. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different thing. Mm -hmm. Does um, it feel different? Uh, it feels less forced. I mm -hmm. think that's the only difference. You know what I mean? Because like it's not even like – like I always tell guys this because they don't seem to get it a lot of them is that you can come – without squirting if you're a squirter you can come without squirting but you can't squirt without coming mm -hmm. if that's her so if you're yes. if you're squirting you're having some kind of orgasm but that's not to say it's the best one mm. it's just the showiest one you know what i mean right. like it's the one that's the most obvious that's the proof there's yeah. proof it happened i yeah. didn't just say it there's it's all over the place right you know what i mean like that's what a guy needs to see because that's how guys conceptualize orgasms is like mm. with physical Evidence. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's right there. Yeah. You, know, you see, I orgasm. Wiped it. I wiped it, it up. Didn't fake that yeah. shit. <laughs> so, so that's that to them. They're like, you proved it to me. Thank you. And you proved it to me 10 times. Oh my God. You know, so it's more for their ego. But I try to, that's what I try to tell like my actual partners is like, please don't expect me to squirt or give me like some kind of like let down energy if like we have sex and I don't mm -hmm. because that's not the only way for me to orgasm and mm -hmm. often I'm having a much more intense orgasm when I'm not squirting mm -hmm. um but you can't see it and I might not even be moving I might want to just sit still and be like Wah! you know yeah. have that feeling because that's how women come mm -hmm. you know so we're like stay just doing that just like that nothing yeah. else you know and guys I swear to god I you get really quiet right before I come and I swear to god you tell a guy not like you tell a guy you're gonna come and it's it, then he will stop doing what he's doing yeah so you almost shouldn't yeah you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah um, but I was just going to say that the first time I squirted, it, I remember literally I wasn't even having sex yet. The guy was laying down on the floor and I was going to sit down on him. And right as the tip of his dick touched my pussy. And I'd never even seen squirting before. Like, I didn't even know what it was. Like, I didn't wow. watch. I didn't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, was t it was 10 years ago, too. So it wasn't even as much of a thing in porn, you know, as it is now. And uh, and so I was like. What the fuck was that? But it was weird because I knew that I came. Like, I was like, oh, I came. And he was like, yeah. you did? And I was like, I guess. Like, yeah. you know? Um, but I started to realize that it was more, that for me, squirting is more of like a tease and like a like a game that like you, it's like a finessing thing. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily like a true, deep, lovely, juicy orgasm. The way that people want to think it is because it's so juicy looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, 
So it's not like the ultimate orgasm. Not it's at just all. Kind of like a. But the approval that you get and the attention you get from it is what makes it so satisfying. Mm. But it's not physically satisfying. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So. Do you ever find that being a squirter, a lifestyle squirter, <laughs> is annoying because like you destroy your bed and all your furniture What's... and it's like frustrating for you? Because, for example, because I'm pretty sure that when I shot you and Jake, we shot on that fabric couch, yeah, and, and I, probably, I was like, "I probably no, I don't think didn't, you did." Because I yeah, was no, you didn't. Because I was like, "Do yeah. not fucking squirt." Yeah, I think I didn't. Because I think I, I asked you because what's well, in that house too? Where that couch is always there. We're not going to get a new couch. No, you know, like, no. Yeah, <laughs> so, and that couch I can't clean it off. No. So I was like, "Do not squirt." <laughs> no, yeah. Jake, do not make her squirt. No, and, they, and no the, squirting. The problem too is that then they take it. What's really annoying is they take it as a challenge, and so then they'll even despite the director telling you not to, they'll be like, "I'm going to make you do it." And then if you don't, because you're trying really hard not to to follow the director's instructions, then you kind of let them down, like mm-hmm. your scene partner. So it's just like this awful kind of balance you have to find for everyone. So being a squirter is almost more annoying than not being one, just in that sense. But mm-hmm. yes, also at home, what's so funny too is with all my partners, I've noticed this, is that they don't care. Like we'll be up at 2 a.m. exhausted. I don't want to fucking change the sheets, but we're fucking changing them. Mm-hmm. And they've got this kind of like grin on their face, like, yeah, haha, we got to change the sheets. You yeah. came everywhere. And I'm like this sucks yeah. you're like i don't like it but they're still getting off on that ego trip that they did that right you know so yeah it's funny they don't care they'll change the sheets by themselves just because they're getting off on the fact that they did it yeah that's interesting i never really thought about it as a way to quantify a man's sexual prowess mm-hmm. you know what i mean because how good he is be right because <laughs> we it's and it's interesting too because we as women always want to make, and it, there's always pressure on the guy to come, right? If he doesn't come, well, right. like the sex and a lot of come, the too. sex doesn't end until the guy comes. Then it ends. And then, then it's it over. Ends. Then it's over. But if he if he doesn't come, then it wasn't a complete. It, it didn't thing. finish. It wasn't good sex. And he failed, in and a it way. wasn't good sex. And I'm talking like yeah. personal, like no, not totally. necessarily porn. Totally. Obviously, in porn, if you don't come, you failed. But but that's the idea really. of everyone is that like if the guy couldn't come, something went wrong, right? But if the girl couldn't come, well, did you, didn't you? We don't really know. Who cares? Yeah. How, can, really how are we sure? But then if you got a squirter, how many times did you squirt? How many times have I been asked that? Oh my God. On and off camera and in content, everything in between. How many times did you squirt from the guy who I just got done Do fucking? Do you count it? No. What the fuck? That's so weird. And that's why I think it's, it's, it's gross when I get asked that by the guy I just finished fucking. Like, why do you care? Like, we couldn't have just had an experience. Mm. Like, we just had a beautiful experience and maybe we filmed it, maybe we didn't, whatever. But like, that was awesome. And now you're going to go, so what's my score? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, God damn it. Well, let me look. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, like, I didn't care. It wasn't about that for me. But now you made it about that. So now it kind of lost all its specialness. Thank you. You know what I mean? Like the squirting meant nothing now. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Because <laughs> you care that much. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to, to, of pressure to do. And I will say even more like when you're doing a squirting scene, I hate those. I will say like, I really don't like doing those because mm-hmm. it's, it's so cool. If I, the, my favorite shoots are where they're like, do it if you want, or if you don't want to don't. Mm-hmm. And then I can just be me. Mm-hmm. But the worst are when I would say it's, it's, it's worse. Squirting shoots are almost worse than a shoot where they're like, don't squirt. You know what I mean? Which I don't even have a problem with that. It's like, yeah. okay, that's fine. Like I'll hold that back and I'll just have that experience. You know right. what I mean? But where it's like, if you don't do it, you've like failed the scene. Yeah. That's how dudes feel. Right. You know, like now well, we're- if they hired you for like right, squirting or right. teenage squirting orgy number 12. Right. You have you to You better squirt. fucking do it. You and, have to squirt. And you do, and I do. But it's just funny because then the shoot isn't, it takes away that fun. Mm. It's not just like have fun and be wild and crazy and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. You know, it's like you need to, like literally I've been asked when I've been booked for a squirting shoot, how many times can you squirt in a 30 minute span? And I'm like, I don't, do people count that? You know what I mean? Like are there girls sitting there going, one- to, to, you know what I mean? And like, have you ever? There. Okay, and now I'm going to ask you the question that you hate. Have you ever had someone count for you I and ha- given you a number? I haven't. I would probably say if I was like guessing in a 30 minute span, like naturally, I could probably squirt 10 times. You know what I mean? That's a significant number. But that's like, but that's still, they would want more because they want it back to back to back. That's what I've noticed in squirt mm. scenes too is that like, okay, I squirted and say 10 times in 30 minutes, that's every three minutes, that's a lot. But now that's only, oh, you only squirted once every three minutes. Well, can you give us one more? And the dude's going all like, and you're like, literally, there's nothing left. Give it a minute. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, there's this idea that you're like, if you do it, well, if you can do it 10 times, you should be able to do it 20. You should be able to do it 30. Why can't you do it that many times? You know, and, right. well, when did it become this thing? You know, of like, I need a certain, like, a liter fluid to prove that you're a good performer. Like, I don't know. 
Yeah. I actually, Alexis Fox told me that she was like stopping doing squirting scenes because of that very reason. That it was just so stressful. And she's one of like the, the classic, like she was known as like yeah. a squirter and she's like, I had to stop. It's just I know, not fun. Uh, I know some performers <laughs> who charge more for it. Which makes sense. I feel like it's almost like yeah. anal or something. It becomes like this thing of like a stress to your body. Mm-hmm. You know, that you're yeah. like draining yourself literally. So Yeah. And it's it's something that it's a niche thing that somebody can capitalize on. 100%, like more so than a regular scene. It's a different, yeah. it's not just a boy girl, boy girl squirting. You know what I mean? A boy yeah. girl anal, like this is a different category. And it's got to be annoying too, because if you're known as a lifestyle squirter, <laughs> um, then people expect TM. it from you all the time. I mean, do you have, are you forewarned before you come up to set that you need to squirt? Or do you show up to set and they're like, you need to squirt? What's funny is people still don't even know that I do it. A lot of people will be like, I didn't know you were a squirter afterwards. After I've been in the industry doing it for five years. You I know don't what really I mean? know either. But, but I also yeah. don't really shoot squirting But you don't watch that. Right. And you don't, and I don't see watch it. it so. Right. So you don't know. Um, but it's funny because I will get people that specific. It seems like it's one or the other. They had no idea or they specifically hired me for it. Mm. It's one. Yeah. So so I'll usually know before I get there. But um but I will say it's pretty it's 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 weird the way it's kind of becoming like how every girl's expected to like want to lick a dude's ass now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that shit, you know? I'm Which, sorry, I'm sorry. It's but it is, it's a thing. I don't know why that is so funny. <laughs> but, well, and right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, a thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So like how every girl's expected to do that, I feel like every girl's kind of expected to be a squirter now. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of not fair because it's just not what everyone does. You yeah. know what I mean? Like not everyone can do that, and you shouldn't be judged as like a less than performer because yeah. you can't like do this circus trick. I can't squirt i've had guys i i remember my ex-boyfriend put me in the bathtub because i was like i don't want to like get it all over the sheet i just don't want to do it he's like i'm gonna make you squirt and literally must have been like 30 minutes and i was like it's not gonna happen i i think possibly i was like there but i felt because i was like pressured though i felt like i was gonna pee right and so i automatically you don't want to pee don't want to pee of course. so i don't know if my body was just fighting me on it right. and he's just like let go let go and i'm like i don't well want and, to. and why and also why I've, do i need to I, do the, this that's to me the first time you squirt if you do ever squirt it won't be that way it won't be someone trying to extract it from you It'll i was be, told by an ex that i squirted once when i was drunk right it's that's exactly Blackout that's drunk, i do not remember that's what it would be so is is squirting happens when and I think to a degree, it kind of happens with every girl. Sometimes it's just a little bit or it could be a lot. But I think it's just when you fully relax and then whatever's in there, yeah. it's just coming out. Yeah. And that's it. And and it's not necessarily like you're peeing your whole bladder out. But like yeah. if you're relaxed, there's going to be like, boop. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their Lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.